So to make this simple knot, I actually have made a little template where I just glued a image on a board and put in the nails. In my last live stream, I show how to do that. I'm going to use 20 gauge wire, six millimeter beads, and I have my tools. So we can start with about a five inch piece of wire and we wanna just get it started. So we're just gonna start it on the highlighter and then we're going to place it on the jig here and what we want to do first is give this one a little bend okay a little sharp bend and then this one too we're going to give it hold it on pl in place so it stays on the shape and give that one a little bend here so first we'll see that this one goes up and underneath so let's just before we bend it let's just bring it underneath here we want to give it a bit of a sharper bend. So sometimes with the copper wire, it makes too much of a smooth bend. So we're just helping it out there with our flat pliers. And then this one too, we're going to just sharpen up that bend a little bit by sticking our flat pliers here. And then what we can do is put this back on the template. You might have to bend it a little more. So we're going to put it back on the template. Okay and then bring this wire around to the top. So it's just gonna go around here and see we have the starting of our shape here. And then what we wanna do is from here, okay, hold it in place and then just get like a little pin or, you know, the end of your pies or something and hold it above that nail and then bend it up on a right angle. And then we have like the right positioning for that. And then what we want to do is we're going to start our curve here and you can see by the template it goes under the first one and over the second one. So let's remove that and we want to bring this around to the back and we're going to go under and over and you're going to see the wire is going to kink a little bit but with the copper wire it's relatively easy to fix. So we're under and over there, which is very simple. We're going to bring this around to the top. Okay. And then we can do our adjustments as needed. So we're going to adjust it around. Okay. And this end could have been a little bit longer, but it's not too bad. And we want to position it so it looks even. Okay position it around so it looks even. If you need to fix this bend at the top, you can. If it's too high, you can lower it a little bit. Okay, and then we're just gonna take this, make sure it's even, hold it tight so it doesn't slip, and then bring the whole wire around, give it a clip, and then we wanna add a bead on top. Now, because we're using wire and we're not soldering, you can't really do a continuous infinity type uh, line, like one line type of thing. So this is an inventive way to finish it off in a way that it makes sense. So we have our bead at the top and you can use any size bead. And then we're just going to bend it. My wire isn't super long, but it's going to do, I could have done a smaller bead too. And we're just going to bring this around and then twist the end and clip it. And there we have our triquetra pendant or can be earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your work, be sure to join the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos of our work and lots of inspiration. And if you'd like to check out our wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and custom jewelry, all out of wire, so you can check out the shop. I'll link it up below. If you'd like to join my mailing list, you can sign up below and I have a little free ebook that also shares all my favorite tools and my materials, wires and beads, etc. So thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.